All right, this is a review video on ultralight tuners by Hipshot. I didn't like the uh, tuners that were on my uh, Fender Jazz bass, so I sw swapped them out to these uh, ultralight tuners in, in a black color. Uh, and I have to say I like these tuners a lot. Um, I think they're better than the tuners that I had on the bass, which were this style of tuner right here. And uh, also they're a little bit lighter too. And so the goal of course is to make the, the, uh, the neck lighter, even though this bass doesn't have much problem with neck dive, you can always make it a little bit better. Um, so the hip shot tuners in addition to, I think, feeling more solid than these other tuners I had, also helping to make the bass at least a tiny bit lighter. So that's good. But I also have another goal for these uh, hip shot tuners and that's on this base, which has these ginormous tuners on this ginormous headstock of this base, and it's just completely out of proportion, and it creates terrible, terrible, terrible neck dive. And so I can just feel it like pulling on my shoulder right now. It's like it just wants to just <laughs> dive to the floor like really bad. So my experiment here is I'm going to take the... Uh, the ultralights off this base, I'm going to put take these tuners off, put the ultralights on this base, even though I know some of them are going to be the wrong way since this is a two, the two and three uh, tuner setup. It's got three on the treble side and two on the bass side, which is, this is five in a row, five in a line. So um, I know that they won't match up completely, but I'll at least put them on and string it up just to uh, get a feel for whether or not these ultralights will be light enough in order to help the neck dive issue that I have on this base. And because uh, I know these tuners are a lot lighter, I'm also going to demonstrate the weight of the different tuners. Um, the original tuners from that I had on the Fender, the ultralights, and uh, these tuners on this uh, TMB35 base. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, change now and put these uh, ultralights on and see if it'll help this horrible neck dive issue that I have with it. All right, here is the ultralight tuner. It has one screw that goes with it, so I'll include that. 46 grams. All right, now let's do the original tuner that was on my Fender Jazz Bass. It had one screw. 62 grams. Okay, now the original tuners that were on the Ibanez TMB35 base. And it had four screws, 85 grams. Okay, I've got the uh, ultralight tuners now on the uh, Ibanez TMB35. And already it feels a little bit lighter, so this is pretty cool. Now, I don't have them... I just lightly put on the tuners. I didn't want to drill new holes yet for the, uh, since it uses different drill holes, uh, screw holes there. Um, so I, I, I just lightly have the strings on. That's why they're, they're really floppy because I didn't want them pulling on the tuners yet since I don't have them secured yet. I just wanted to test and see if this would uh, help reduce the, uh, the weight of the headstock in order to reduce neck dive. So let's try it out. Mm. Not bad. It still has it still has neck dive. It still wants to neck dive a little bit, but I can tell definitely a big difference between the original tuners that were on there. So this definitely definitely helps a lot. It you know it pulls a little bit, but it's not like it was before where it just wants to slide to the floor like this. Now it's actually it's not pulling as hard on my shoulder, and it's not wanting to neck dive down as much. So. It's uh, a little bit better. Definitely, definitely an improvement that you can feel. Um, it's not the uh, magic bullet that solves the neck dive issue. Um, as I, like I said, I still feel it, but it definitely helps out a lot. So cool, excellent results of that experiment. I'm glad to see that it does make a difference. Um, so yeah, cool. So what I'm gonna do now, um, since I wanna put these tuners back on the base that I bought them for, my Fender Jazz, um, at least I know now that ultralights will help out a lot with this base. What I'm going to do is since I've got five of these tuners laying around from that were on the jazz base, and these tuners are in between the weight of these ultralights 
and the original tuners that are that were on this base. So I'll put these on in the meantime and save up for some ultralights and then uh, see about putting some ultralights on this uh, on this base. And, and also, uh, <laughs> these are mini clovers that are on here, and of course they're black, so uh, kind of an interesting look there. I probably would want to maybe still go with the original silver tuners might work better as an offset against the black headstock in the match with the other silver hardware, but I don't know, what do you think? Um, it's kind of cool looking. Um, and also keep in mind too that these are <laughs> all base side tuners, so even these ones on the treble side are, since they're reversed here over there, they're a little bit further back this way, whereas if they were reversed correctly for treble side, they would be a little bit further out that way. Um, so just in case that visually looks a little weird to you, that's why. Um, but yeah, successful experiment, cool. All right, so I've now made the uh, switch once again. I've got the, uh, the tuners that used to be on the uh, Jazz Bass now on the, uh, the TMB35 here, and I'm trying it. And yeah, I can, I mean, I can definitely feel that they're heavier than the ultralights, um, but um, otherwise, um, they're definitely lighter than the other tuners that were originally on it. So um, I'm going to keep it like this for a while um, until I get some ultralights to put on here. But so this does definitely uh, help out a little bit. Um, I, the ultralights helped out a lot. These, helped, these help out a little bit. So they're a little bit lighter than what was on here before. So yeah, I'll work with it for now and then uh, get the ultralights on here. So anyway, I thought I would share that with you. Hopefully that's helpful to find out how, uh, number one, what ultralights are like and how, mu how much lighter they are compared to uh, other tuners that are on the market. And also if you're looking at the TMB35 as a potential base, uh, knowing how much the ultralights will help with the net dive issue. All right, thanks for watching. God bless you.